People of YouTube, welcome to my channel. I'm Aaron, a startup CEO who is clean shaven and attempting to get a solar roof. Installation of the roof has begun and boy do I have some updates. You can refer back to my Tesla solar roof buying experience video that I posted last week. I put a link to it in the description of this video and it tells you how we got to the point where we are today. Tesla really screwed the pooch on this one. But before I talk about that, let's talk about the current state of my roof. For those of you who are new to my channel, I purchased a 40 kilowatt hour Tesla solar roof. Last week, they began removing my roof using a local subcontractor. Let's take a look at how this occurred and progressed throughout the week. The subcontractor did a great job removing my roof and putting down the waterproof barrier. The barrier actually doesn't look all that bad and it's branded Tesla. So let's talk about how Tesla screwed up. I spent hours working with my advisor and the installation team on their new beta program that allows you to install a solar roof on top of your existing roof. That's what my whole last video was about. I told the Tesla installation team if they did not show up when the contractor arrived that the contractor would remove my roof regardless of what Tesla thought was going to happen. Guess what? The contractor shows up and the roof starts getting removed. I spent so many hours trying to relay communications between the internal Tesla teams on this beta program. I had them put in my account in all caps, do not remove roof. I got a discount to not have my roof removed. One of the reasons why I didn't want to remove my roof is the drip edging is color coordinated with the rest of my home and the drip edging provided by Tesla is horrible looking aluminum and it only comes in one aluminum color. Also, you don't have to destroy your gutters when you do not remove your roof. And now all my gutters are destroyed. So now I have to pay for my drip edge to be painted on my home and pay for all the gutters to be replaced. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. Right now I don't have a roof. So I need to let them install the solar roof, but I really have no recourse here and I'm a little irritated. I've had really good luck with the local Tesla team. So part of me, doesn't want to panic immediately, I'm going to let the Tesla team show up when they go to install the roof and speak with the local team instead of dealing anymore with the remote advisor team. The experience so far has definitely taught me that Tesla would be better served by working through distributors and local roof installers instead of trying to manage it on their own. Stay tuned for next week as they install the solar tiles on the roof. And with that, one last major announcement, toodles.